what's up guys and welcome back to Everything Gaming uh, and on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete all three of this uh, week's Forzathon challenges in which you can win the Bentley Continental Super Sports and as well as that I'm going to show you guys that all of the future Forzathons have been unlocked now so there's over 50 Forzathon events you can complete right now um, and that's because Turn 10 have basically made a little bit of a fuck up but I'll get into that later on. Uh, let's start having a look at the challenges available this week. So the first one wants you to win a race in a GT car to receive the Bentley Continental Continental Super Sports. Uh, the second one wants you to perform 20 drift skills in a Bentley to earn 55,000 credits. And the third one, called Illustrious Air, wants you to perform 10 air skills to earn 35,000 XP. And the fourth one isn't a challenge, it's just 30% off all Aston Martins at the Auto Show. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, I am showing you all of the achievements available, uh, basically future Forzathon achievements. Now, I don't know why, but Turn 10 for some reason have made every Forzathon event, there's about 50 of them, uh, available to complete right now. You can see see the dates say it ends on the 11th for the 5th and the 12th for the 5th don't worry about that um, so I've completed them I've stumbled upon them by accident uh, and you will see in this video I will show you as proof that all of these challenges are unlocked so what I would recommend is you can go through them if you see a horizon edition car you like have a stab at that challenge and try and unlock it I will of course be releasing the videos in due course but the first challenge let's get in on here just wants you to win a race in a GT car to win the Bentley Continental Super Sports. Now, obviously, you're going to filter your cars just to show G, uh, GT cars. So I, in the end, went for a Bentley Speed 10, the new one. Uh, that one, the six concept. But you can pick whichever GT car you want. It doesn't really matter. Just whichever one you are most confident in. Uh, then go and pick a race that you will feel confident winning. Uh, so obviously, better if you know the circuit. So I always pick the highway circuit, as you can see here. Just set up an exhibition race. One lap is all you need um, in GT cars. Obviously, you don't have to set it to specifically GT cars. Just make sure that you are in a GT car. Uh, and remember, you do have to win this one. So I'd recommend that your GT car of choice uh, is obviously modified uh, and you're guaranteed a win out of it. Now, as you will see at the end of this race, I unlock two other Forzathon challenges that aren't related to this one, but as well as this one. Uh, so I'll show you, obviously, in a second. You'll see the achievements pop up. I just stumbled upon them by accident and it happens later again in the video. I'll show you there. So this is how we know that, obviously, all of the Forzathon challenges shown in those achievements where I showed you there are available um, to be completed and you'll win the prizes with no problems. Now I don't know if Turn 10 are going to fix this at some point, uh, we'll have to see, but for now I recommend if there's a car you really really want, go and get it now. Um, I will obviously, like I said, be uploading all the Forza Thumb videos in due course uh, when they come out every week. But like I said, just a little tip, if you see a Horizon Edition car or a special car you want, go for it now and you will be able to unlock it. Anyway, that's just a quick guide to show the first challenge there. Uh, the next one called Exhilarating Drift wants you to perform 20 drift skills in a Bentley to earn 55,000 credits. Now I stayed in the same Bentley Speed 10 concept, whatever it was, um, and what I recommend is coming over to the airfield. Now you can do these drifts anywhere, you know, you can drift anywhere in the game, it really does not matter. Um, but the quickest way to do it for me was just to take the Bentley to the airfield and just muck about like this. All you've got to do is get 20 drift skills you'll probably get a few during the race just going to speed the footage up a bit because it's a bit boring but it literally took me bang on a minute to complete this Forza Thun challenge it's really really not that hard 20 drift skills in a Bentley make sure it is a Bentley uh, and you'll win 55,000 credits or XP whichever it was so not a hard challenge there at all uh, only unlocked one Forza Thun event there anyway um, the third one here called Illustrious Air wants you to perform 10 air skills to earn 35,000 XP so again a very easy one and again I'd recommend coming near the airfield as you can see all these bumps and stuff on the map are the sand dunes now obviously you will get constant air skills jumping off of them all you need is 10 of them if you've not picked up any others during the races or whatever um, so I'm going to speed the footage up here again because it's a tad boring but like I said 10 air skills it can be done in whichever car you want it just so happened that I was in the same Bentley I was already by the airfield so it made sense to just drive it off-road it's a four-wheel drive car anyway so it makes sense um, but yeah very very easy challenges this uh, this week you know they won't take you more than five minutes that's all it took me really obviously the fourth one isn't a challenge it's just money off Aston Martins at the auto show uh, there you see the Forzathon challenge unlocked for this specific challenge for this week uh, and afterwards you'll see another one pop up here you go uh, catching air which is another Forzathon challenge uh, for some point in the future I don't know when um, because obviously the dates only show the 12th and the 11th of May for some peculiar reason uh, so turn 10 have really messed up a little bit there but in a good way uh, silver linings 
means it means you can unlock whichever car you want you like the look of and as you can see here obviously on Xbox achievements it shows you your progress in how far you are into earning the achievement so a lot of them the fours of them ones quite close to earning just by doing the challenges I've done here uh, and you'll find you'll probably just stumble up across them randomly doing whatever just mucking about in the game but like I said have a scroll through them they're all shown on the achievements on Forza Horizon 3 uh, and you can you know if you see one you like you see a car that you want to win just find the challenge find how to do it I'm sure you'll probably see a guide at some point on my channel I think I've pretty much done every video you can think of every skill you can think of uh, and check them out but anyway guys I hope that this helped you out and I hope obviously you go for all the cars that you want massive thank you for the recent support and good luck earning those cars and take care guys